I'm Laura, I'm 28 and my hobby is surgery. Meet Laura Bowton, a mum of two who is addicted to plastic surgery. After totally devoting herself to her children, she realised she was unhappy with herself and decided to do something about it. I had two children and after I had the second one, um, I lost lots of weight and I decided to have a breast lift and then um, through deciding to do that, I've decided to also have an augmentation as well. Um, I have had lip filler, I have had um, cosmetic and tattooing um, on my eyebrows and on my lash line, which is not as painful as you might think. Um, and I have had Botox, um, I would like a tummy tuck, bigger boobs, <laughs> more Botox. <laughs> And Laura has funded her surgery through means that some may find controversial. I came into an inheritance um, when my mother passed away and um, for a long time I kind of wrestled with um, what to do with the money and whether it was right to spend any part of it on myself um, in terms of surgery. Um, but I decided that it was something that was making me so unhappy every day that she would agree, you know, if she was here, she would agree that that would be a good thing to do. So I went ahead and did it. After making her decision, Laura set about deciding what she wanted to look like and which icon she would take inspiration from. Um, so obviously, I love Beyonce, um, and I like Dolly Parton. <laughs> I like that she kind of um, embodies that real glamour and she's quite unapologetic about that as well. Um, and kind of like a cartoon character, so um, yeah, like a sexy kind of little sexy pin-up. <laughs> Laura insists that she has no regrets about her decision to alter her appearance. Uh, I think I'm definitely happier since um, since I had the breast surgery, absolutely. Um, that changed my life because every day I was waking up and thinking, um, what can I do to hide this? How can I disguise um, the way I look? And that is, I just think that's really negative. Um, Although her transformation hasn't come without its embarrassing moments, occasionally her children remind her about what she used to look like. <laughs> Probably the worst one was when my daughter said at nursery, um, <laughs> Mummy, remember when you used to have long boobs and now you've got, <laughs> now you've got round ones. <laughs>